Luther Hall is located right in the heart of Fargo. It's located in a residential area and we fit in with the rest of the neighborhood. We have a lot of good neighbors and it's like surrounded with beautiful homes and it makes us feel like home because like we get a nice view from our room. Kids come to us with a certain amount of trauma and situations in their life that beyond help, they need that assistance to heal. And even beyond that, hope. Our job is to provide a safe, need-fulfilling place where they can learn and grow as quickly as possible. Our mission at Luther Hall is first to provide healing for the kids here and then to provide that hope that they're going to have a positive future in their life. A day at Luther Hall is a day for like anybody else. You know, the kids are going to wake up, they're going to have breakfast, go to school. When school is done, all my staff go over to pick up the kids and they go on to their different activities where they get to get outside and run or they go to the YMCA. I like rec here. It's really fun. It's kind of like gym, but I still love it. You get to go off site and get to play like games. Outside at Luther Hall, the kids are able to play basketball, they're able to ride bikes, play catch. We have a garden that we created out here so the kids get to work in the garden or if they want to just you know, hang out under the trees and read. The benefit of um, having a lot of activities for the kids is to, in a positive way, get that energy out for them. Luther Hall understands that children with adverse childhood experiences often need a variety of options related to working through their trauma issues. And so Luther Hall has been very forward thinking and has incorporated things like sensory rooms. The sensory room is very helpful because like if I'm in a bad mood or I'm sad or something like that, I just go down there and I take a break and I readjust myself. At Luther Hall, we started something called coping boxes. They can be cards, it can be journals, it can be anything that will help them to cope or express some of their emotions. I have cards in it, don't I mind? Yeah, sand in it. I want the kids to be able to be kids, to laugh, to play, to go out and play football, basketball, swim, do whatever they want and not have to worry about being the adult. When I first arrived here, the kids basically ran the floor. Staff were scared because they were getting hurt. There wasn't any structure. There wasn't any consistency and stability within the program. They had staff fearful, they had other kids fearful, and you really couldn't make true progress with a culture of fear. You really are hard pressed to help a youth make use of any therapeutic intervention if the environment doesn't feel safe and stable. And we started setting goals that initially no one thought we could reach. And, and we just kept pushing and figuring out, we can handle this. The Refocus program is a tool for staff to use to create a learning opportunity for kids. The Refocus program is to allow the kids to identify the behavior that they have done and then have an assignment as to why it is wrong. It gives an opportunity for the residents to reset, to think about the negative behavior and what to do differently. The first word that really comes to mind when I think about the culture of Luther Hall is really their emphasis on teamwork. The team is everything. The culture here now is very much one of a family. Staff treat us like respectfully. They do their job well and they take care of us like if we were their own kids. When we're having a rough day, they are always there to listen to what we have to say and they're really somebody that you can talk to, like you can trust. To see the Luther Hall today versus the Luther Hall then is just such a huge change in so many ways. PBS gives us direction. It gives us an uh, opportunity to create effective goals. And it is an assessment tool for how are we progressing with those goals. It gives us an opportunity to see areas that we're doing well in and areas that we need to improve on. We will see the impact for years to come 
of the improvements that are made now out of the performance-based standards process. Winning the Barbara Allen Hagen Award means validation. It's nice to have other people look at the things that we've done. To win the Barbara Allen Hagen Award through PBS has been a huge accomplishment for Luther Hall. It's kind of this time of celebration knowing that you know all of the hard work that we have been putting in has then been recognized on a national level. Walking around the facility, you see happy, healthy, engaged kids going about daily activities in a way that you'd have been hard pressed to see a few years ago. It's not over and done when someone's discharged from Luther Hall. It's taking those important next steps, and I think we can equip them for those next steps here. I think there's a lot ahead for Luther Hall. Luther Hall has a bright, continued future. The goal is to really build a sense of independence. I think that truly will be what allows them to go back into an environment where they were previously struggling and have the tools to be successful.